Cecilia Kelly, consumer horticulture specialist with Mississippi State University Extension Service, and welcome to Gardening Through the Seasons. It's July, y'all, in the garden, and it is hot. You might think that because we react just miserably and all we want to do is just wither up when the hot weather hits, that the plants kind of are going to react the same way, but that's not true. Some plants maybe can't take our heat and humidity, but there are plenty of others, y'all, that can take the heat and just keep right on going. So let's look at some perennials and annuals that can thrive in our hot, humid climate. One group of plants that we can count on for toughness is the ornamental grasses. These can be annuals, perennials, they can be large like this zebra grass, or they can be small. These plants fit into just about any landscape situation. And the good thing about them is they're even attractive in the wintertime because these real pretty flower plumes will dry and stay on the plant. The leaves will rustle in the winter wind. For more information about ornamental grasses, you might want to check out our new extension publication called Ornamental Grasses for the Mid-South Landscape. Some other great choices for plants that can take the heat are butterfly weed. This hardy perennial blooms midsummer and is the main food source for the monarch butterfly larva. Verbena blooms pretty much all summer and spreads nicely to form a low growing edging for flower beds. Four o'clock is a fragrant, flowering, three to four foot tall perennial with tuberous roots. There are all types of sedums that can take our heat and humidity, and one of the most popular is Autumn Joy, but there are a lot of others. Mexican petunia is an aggressive spreader that reaches four feet tall and has pretty petunia-like purple blooms. Look for cultivars that are just as tolerant of our heat and humidity, but are better behaved and don't spread so aggressively. Black-eyed Susan is always a favorite with its sunny yellow blooms. The fern leaf yarras are tough, hardy plants, and if cut back after bloom, will reward you with a rebloom. Annual periwinkles take the heat and just keep on flowering all summer long. These come in a variety of bloom colors to match all taste. The threadleaf coreopsis is another tough plant that looks neat with its fine textured foliage regardless of the weather. How about those naked ladies, or August lilies? You can't beat those ladies for surprising you with a gorgeous floral display in the scorching heat of July and August. Another reliable bub is the crinum lily. You'd have to work really hard to kill this plant. Hens and chickens is one of our winter hardy succulents that thrive in our hot, droughty climate. Our native goldenrod is well suited to our area and there are many cultivars on the market to choose from. Blanket flower or gallardia is another native that'll grow well here. There's not a lot of perennials that have really long bloom periods, but cat mint is one of these and tough as nails to boot. And I guess one of the all time winners for heat and drought tolerant for us is lantana. There's lots of new ones on the market to pick from. There are many other plants that are dependable performers in our gardens without a lot of coddling. And what I wanna do is share two more with you that you may have to search out a little bit for, for because they're a little hard to find. The first one is the lemon marigold. Now this plant is a perennial. It gets about three feet tall. It has deeply cut aromatic foliage and this thing is literally covered with flowers in the fall. The other plant is the rose campion. This is an old timey biennial plant that has really kind of downy foliage and it has these wonderful magenta flowers. You may have to look for this one to find the seed. We may have trouble taking the heat in July, but fortunately we have a lot of tough plants that we can depend on to make our gardens look pretty during the heat and the drought of this month. I'm Leah Kelly and this has been Gardening Through the Seasons.